Hey, what's going on, G Shock side? It's your boy G Dub, G Shock Warrior, three ones. So I remember that video I just did on this right here. Yeah, I'm wearing it. I'm probably gonna put it to charge soon though, cause I'm wearing it tonight. Yeah, you like that nerd swag, cool kids? Y'all know I was there, did you? Oh yeah, but I'm probably gonna rock it tonight to the movies. Oh, or is that tomorrow? I don't remember. I don't remember when I'm going to lose, but it don't matter. Whatever. I'm going to rock this today. But I got a package today, so I could have just waited and made it all one big video. But I didn't feel like it, so I just forgot that I had a package. And um, it came in. And it was a box. And then inside the box was another box. And then inside the box was bubble wrap and and newspaper. And there's nothing in the box because I took it out the box. And it's not in the box. So that's just the box. But what was in the box that was inside the box was this box. What the heck is this, G-Dub? G-Dub, what you doing? What, what What's that, G-Dub? G-Dub, why are you showing me <clears throat> the lit the one box with the bottom to another? Actually, that's a negative. This is the box. This is the box to this piece right here. GLX. 56 x3 x3 yeah x3 x obviously means is a collaboration with that company right there information 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 i like how the box has all right, i gotta stop acting stupid but i like how the box kind of like fades into this corner right here see that it kind of like fades out pretty hot it's pretty hot it's pretty hot but for those of, you, those of you who don't know this was information's second collab with g-shocks there was one the first one which is a forbidden piece because we don't really talk about it because nobody can really find it of course chavo has one but chavo has everything but um it was a green silencer and then came this piece their first collab on the 5600 and then after this came the next piece that I'm looking for um, the purple rain the GLS 56 x6 and then after that came the battleship gray which your boy has I lied after the purple rain came the Aloha and then came the battleship gray and then came the Rastafarian one love and then came the GLX 150 so I don't have the green silencer I have this I don't have the purple rain I have the Aloha the Battleship, the Rastafari, and the GLX-150. So, five down, two to go, if you want to get technical. Really, one, because nobody really considers the um, Green Silencer as part of the collection. But, enough of all that. Let's get into this bad boy. Beautiful, 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 beautiful watch. Shout out to my boy Kevin. If you didn't see the Nigel signing video in Willowbrook Mall, go watch it, because Kevin's in it. He hooked me up with this piece. Gave me a little IOU. And we ended up holding this bad boy down right here. This is the GLX 5600 X3. Information in white there. G light in black there. Nothing on the top. Nice teal color. I actually forgot to pull out the SN3. So we're going to go to the SN3 in a little bit. And we're actually going to compare it to the um, Danny Handsome. Um custom geisha that he gave me but um here's your piece let's pull it out of here um really really basic um there's no custom backlight um there's pretty much not much there's a custom back plate of course all the editions have that and then there's the um info on the band and then the nice coloring but that's about it that's it that's all there is to this piece you see the info right there on the bottom. Info may shunk right there. Um, you see the di slight different coloring on the tie graph. You see it kind of has that tealish color to it. Um, kill the flash. I can show you guys the backlight. The backlight matches the paint beautifully. Oh, you got the auto EL feature. Would you look at that? <laughs> I didn't even know I threw that on there. 
but beautiful, beautiful, easy to read um, display. Really, really bright, really easy to read. You see daylight savings, you see the date, the time, the day of the week, all that good stuff. Throw this back on. Um, yeah, I, I love this watch. I'm in love with this watch. Oh, I didn't even notice right there. The auto EO says it's on. Hourly time signal isn't though, so I guess I'm going to turn that on. Let's see if G Dub knows how to do it off the top of his head. Tie graph, world time. We got to fix that. Alarm. Okay. So we go here. Alarm one, alarm two. Snooze, signal. It's on. Hey, your boy G Dub knows how to do it. Don't even gotta read the manual. Back to home time. Let's get it. Look at that. That's how you know he he a G Shock expert. He did all that without even having to look at the manual. Your boy a genius. But now you see the signals on. The auto EL is on. Beautiful, beautiful display. Really crispy. Um, the backlight matches the paint really well, as you guys already saw. Kind of has that teal color to it. Really, really nice. Really nice. There's no complaint about this watch. I was hoping for a custom backlight, but I didn't know that we wasn't gonna have it. But that's it. That's pretty much it. Yes, y'all got the tealish green color. Um, reminds me a lot of the SN3. We're gonna dig that out. But um. That's it. That's all there is to this watch. All right. So we're going to throw them back in there. And we're going to show y'all how much information G-Dub got for y'all. Because G-Dub got so much information for y'all. Stay having info for you guys. Got one piece right there. Right? All right. What else? We got two piece right there. Right? What else we got? We got, what else we got, got three piece right there. Right? We got four piece right there, right? A hey, five info pieces, info, 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 info. Five down. Technically one to go. Really two, but you know, if you want to put them in order, it'd be a little something like this. It'd be something like that. Put that bad boy here. Skip there. Actually, we gonna bring this bad boy down. We gonna bring this bad boy up. And we gonna bring this bad boy down. We gonna put this one back down. Bring this one across. There you go. In order, there's a piece missing here, which was the first one ever back in 07. And then you had the GLS 56, GLX 56, I'm sorry. And then there here would be the Purple Rain. Don't worry, your boy will get the Purple Rain. All right? Your boy looking for the Purple Rain. You're going to find the Purple Rain. And then came the Battleship Gray, came the Rastafarian One Love, and came the GLX 150. Ironically, the GLX 150 was my first of the Info Collapse. And I've always wanted this one. And this one just grew on me. And then those two, you you can't just, those are just beautiful summer pieces right there. You can't go to summer without rocking some Hawaiian info, right? All right. So we're going to put this bad boy back up there. We're going to slide this one down here. We're going to put him back up there. We're going to move him back. And we're going to go get y'all the SN3 and the Danny Handsome Custom. Danny Handsome Custom, easy to find. He right here. He chill on his own. So we're going to drop that bad boy off right there. And now we got to find us an SN3. Lucky for us, G-Dub labels the bottom of his tints. That's a mango. That's my iPod. We don't need that. What else we got? Hey, SN3. Let's go. All right. So bring them over here. Um, the info is glossy, though. So right off the bat, the SN3 and the info are different because the SN3 is matte. So... Pull this bad boy out of the box. Out of the box. Yeah, I'm singing out of the box, man. You're putting a good mood. Why not? And here we go.
it is. First of all, they look a little more blue on camera than they do in real life. These watches are green. They're green. They're seafoam green. I'm talking Mountain Dew Baja Blast at Taco Bell green. All right? Especially in the light. But they are the same color. Just GLX is glossy. Um, SN3 is matte. See that? Same exact color. Which is good because up until now, I thought the SN3 was the only watch with that color. So, I, I mean, we don't really need to compare it now to the Danny Handsome Custom. But we're going to do it anyway. Because if I don't do it, I'm going to get yelled at. Alright. So we're going to pull the Danny Handsome Custom out of its acrylic case. Here's the bad boy. We're going to grab this guy without harm. And we're going to compare these two colors. These two are not the same. Obviously, this was an A2 before Danny Handsome customized it. This is an X3, meaning this is a shade of green. This is a shade of blue. This is obviously the baby blue. This is um, that TLC foam green looking color. So, yeah. There you have it. Your boy G-Dub with the GLX 5600 X3 Glossy TLC Foam Green SN3 Colored Info Collab. Whew. That's a tongue twister right there for you guys. But, um, that's about it. Slowly but surely, filling up that information collection. Um, thanks again to Kevin from Jersey, hooking me up. Much love, Kev. You already know how we do. We bros. And then I guess hooking y'all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight pieces out of G Dub's collection for this review. And I'm done. Shout out to a little thing of ours. Like I say, don't follow your dreams. Chase them. I will have stuff for you guys. Don't you worry. I got y'all. All right. Your boy G-Dub goes on vacation next week, so maybe I can get some stuff in before then. I'm about to kick into Modern Warfare 3. We about to whip that. You know. Yeah, we do, man. This really is as fun as it looks. <laughs> Love having fun with these videos for you guys. All right. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Shout out to a little thing of ours. Illuminate this darkness. And we'll holla at y'all. Big ass fingers, y'all. They look like Chavos. <laughs>